Good morning, Sizzlers. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Today is another beautiful day here in South Florida, and I am driving the boat, keeping us straight, and I've got Brian behind me working on the line. Let me show you what's going on here. You can see it's flat calm out, so we're dealing with flat, flat calm conditions, no wind whatsoever, so today we need to cover ground. Today's a west wind, which is not a good for Pelagics. Well, hello, Sizzlers. I am putting out some lines. And as Darcy said, yeah, it's a west wind, so the fish are going to be more spread out, so we're going to troll. And plus, we've got a bit of a late start, someone didn't set the alarm clock. Bad. Totally my fault while we're out here so late. I take, I admit it, I admit it, it's my fault. I did set the alarm clock, but it failed to go off, and Brian doesn't believe me, and it didn't happen, so if it didn't happen, it didn't happen, so he doesn't believe me. <laughs> Don't blame the alarm clock, woman. Fish on. On our longest line, all the way back there. I thought it was something good. Well, we'll find out here. Hold on. We got a real wind. We got a long way to go. <sighs> it's been a while since I caught a fish. I need like a billion bottles of water right now. It's so hot. <sighs> Ow! So this little squid chain here that you can see that's all pink, this is what he ate, and that... So that's from Ballyhood Lures, this actual squid chain, so check them out, I'll link them down below. But this is a bonita, we call it a bonita. You know, a lot of you guys on YouTube, whoa, here we go. Fish's names, <laughs> look at this. Fish's names change in different regions of the world. We call this guy a bonita. Oh my God, he's just destroying the boat, I give up. Okay, let's see if I can pick him up again. Maybe not. I give up. You call them a false, a false albacore. You can also call them a bonito. We call them a bonita. I know other people in different parts of the world call it even a skipjack, which a skipjack to us is a completely different fish. So depending on where you are in the world, fish are named different things. We call it a bonita. It's a bonita to us in South Florida. So don't get all crazy and uh, clarify in the comments what it's called because us in South Florida, that's bonita to us. That's shark bait good bait for bottom fishing and just a good bait overall and I know people eat them but we don't eat them all right guys we decided to change up our tactics a little bit here and we ran offshore we're looking for anything offshore look what we just came across check it out this this uh, it looks like an old float or something it's like degrading in the ocean but look at all the bait that it's holding so I've got my rig right here with the beaky rig and I'm gonna try to drop it right next to these baits to try to catch them Hopefully they'll hit it. They're very hungry right now. But you, this is what you want to look for when you're offshore. You want to find rips, you want to find seaweed, and there we go, we got one. Sweet, something just like that. And that is what you want to use to, to, to catch any fish that's out here. That's what they're eating. When you find bait like that, you want to catch it. So I'm going to drop this a couple more times and hopefully get a few more. Come on, fishies. Oh, he got side hooked. We, fi we found the fish, we found the fish. You got the pitch rod? Yeah, here, come on. Hang on, pitch rod, pitch rod, pitch rod, pitch rod. We got Mahi all around the boat. It's on, it's been on. What do you want me to do? It's on. Get the sardines. All right, let's pick out big ones. Come on, what? We're going. Here we go. All right. We've got a ton of mahi around the boat. I wish we could put something in the water to keep them here. Here they are. Look at all the mahi. Check them out. All right. So I'm getting, you can see I've got a pitch rod right here rigged up, ready to go. I'm going to put my circle hook on through this sardine and try to get them on a dead bait right now. See how hungry they really are. But they are all over the boat following us. So let's see what happens. All right, let's get a, uh, we only have one rod, correct? Look at this, sh they're pooping everywhere. I see a poop trail. All right, seems like they don't want dead bait. Oh, they just went crazy after that. That's, most of these are a little too small, unfortunately. But once I hook one, keep them by the boat. All right, let's put a live bait on. They don't want it. Got my live bait, gonna hook them. They went to the south, they're on the move. That's why I said they're not staying here. Right here, they're all right here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he ate that right away. That's what they want. They want the littlest baits. All right, we got one hooked up. A lot of these mahi, unfortunately, just by looking at them in the water, they are not keepers. So we're gonna try to pick out some of the bigger ones and see if uh, we can get a couple keepers out of here for some fish tacos. But I know this fish I've got is a little on the small side. So look at all the mahi. I hope you guys can see that. They're everywhere. That's a bigger mahi right there. That's a bigger mahi right there. Let's get him. Uh, we're gonna run out of bait quick, so we have to like pitch it to him because I don't have very many live baits. There's another one. That's a keeper. He's over here. We got to get the boat in forward. He's going to the uh, thing. Turn us. This is just so epic, guys. We are hooking fish left and right. We have a big pack of mahi mahi close to the boat. Woo! Did you see that? <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, he's jumping again. So I've got a mahi hooked. M most of the mahi in this pack are fairly small, but what you do is once you hook one, you keep them boat side, just like I've got this guy by the boat. Now, I've seen a couple bigger fish in this pack, which is the ones we want to keep. We want to keep legal ones. So you can see I've got Brian here right next to me, and he's got a pitch bait ready, and we're looking for the big one so we can pitch directly to him. So we got the little baits from underneath the weed line, and that's what they want. They don't want that bait. They want the live little baits that we caught. So we're just looking for this big one. Hopefully he shows up in a minute. Look how beautiful it is out here! Woohoo! What do you think of sizzle? <laughs> it's, we're about 12 miles out. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, we were catching a bunch of those little dolphins in about 700 feet. But you know, they're all like 20 inches. I, I, you know, I'm not going to keep a million 20 inch dolphins. So we just kept one or two for dinner, you know, do a little conservation, right sizzle? Um, yeah. You know, we caught a bunch of dolphins we still have in the freezer. So, you know, just come out here and fish and have a great time. That's what you guys need to be doing. And we got some fish, and also, you know, I just wanted to mention, you know, one of our great sponsors, ACR, this is a PLB, and you can see we're way out here in the ocean. So, you know, you got to have your personal locator beacon when you come out this far, guys, no matter how great your boat runs, or how many engines you have, or, you know, whatever. So, anyways, that's a little safety tip. But uh, we're going to keep on trying to catch some big fish out here. Again, we're going to try and catch something good. We're not going to keep little baby fish. I wish they were a little bigger. Definitely. Nice to see you guys. Definitely. Enjoy the journey. I'm enjoying the journey in this beautiful day with this beautiful young lady. And she's upset she didn't catch a big fish. And that's fine. That's two different people. But enjoy the journey. Enjoy the trip. We're not always going to catch fish. But look at this. It's Tuesday, man. It's Tuesday. Look at that, guys. I hope you can see that. That is so cool. It's a school of a file fish. That's what we call them here. And usually they're on the reef but it's a school of little baby juvenile t file fish. Super, super cool in the middle of the blue ocean. Oh, look at that. It's a big ball of bait. They're coming up to the surface, check you guys out. Say hello. Look at that. I'm not listening. I literally have the worst job in the whole world, don't I? You guys feel bad for me? Comment below how terrible my life is. His life sucks. He always complains about his life sucks so bad. He has the worst life. Nice, nice belt, Batman. Thanks. <laughs> like my belt for my bubble blade pliers? It's perfect. Perfect. Like my belt? She's obsessed with triple tails, guys. It's obsessed. like her thing. Obsessed. Well, listen, like I don't get to catch them very often, delicious. and Brian knows they're absolutely delicious. Love them. And it's just awesome when you find some treasure, delicious treasure like that, and it's a keeper. And today, like I said, this whole year I haven't seen one triple tail in the ocean, and today I've seen like two dozen. They're all shorts, but usually when you see them around, that means there's bigger ones around. So we're running this weed line, and I'm gonna use my eagle eyes Try to find some more. Do you want me to look? Well, you want me to watch too? I would like your help trying to find like Coke cans and stuff. Like <laughs> if it's very, if it's close enough. Like if it's within 20 feet of the boat, you need to find that for Why, me. Why? Cause I don't see very good. No, you don't see very good. 
I was trying to point out Big Dolphin to him today, and he's like, where, where? And I'm like, right there, right there, right there, where, where? It's okay. <laughs> That's why I got advantages and you have advantages. So What's my advantage? Your advantage is... 